All right, what's up, you NAMI? Uh, welcome to our first distance learning video. Uh, I am going to start a timer here, and we are going to keep these videos to about 10 to 12 minutes in length. And we're going to be going everything that you need to know, going over everything, I should say, that you need to know to practice like a pro. So I figured we would take this time to really refine our practice skills, which we've talked about in class a number of different times, and work on a key that is relatively new, which is our concert A flat major. So throughout the next, you know, four or five tutorials here, we're gonna be working in the key of A flat major, which for me, as a Barry saxophone player, is gonna be the E flat instrument uh, section here. So if you're a concert instrument, you're working in A flat. If you are a French horn, you are working in the key of E flat. If you are a trumpet or clarinet or tenor saxophone, you're working on B flat and altos and barries, we are over here on the concert E flat, or I'm sorry, concert A flat, our E flat side. So the first thing I wanna talk about is just some things that you could have in your practice studio to really set you up for a good practice session. The first one um, is a good old instrument stand. I like these because then I don't have to get my um, saxophone out every single time I wanna sit down and practice. Not a necessity, but it's a great thing to have in your studio. The other thing, um, I'd like to thank my daughter for lending me her whiteboard so we could do some instruction today. And then back here, I have a real nice uh, speaker. So when we get to the play along section and when you get to really put this scale uh, along to a background, uh, you can have a nice loud background track to work on. And then last but not least is your trusty cell phone. So if you have a phone or an iPad or any kind of thing like that, we're gonna be using this in a little bit. So. You'll notice I've already set my instrument up. I've already tuned uh, using the Clear Tune app. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just working slowly through this scale with no tempo. Um, and what we're gonna do is just make sure that I know the notes and know the fingerings for the scale. So. <laughs> say, okay, I'm done with F major, I have it. But one thing is I only did one octave of that. And I know saxophone players you're thinking, but you can you can you can do two octaves, Mr. Meyer. So sure. The next step would be you can play that scale as high as you can if you can fit two octaves. <laughs> saying to themselves, for example, trumpets, um, you might not be able to play your B flat scale in two octaves, and that's completely fine. That would kind of be crazy for middle school trumpets to be able to play their B flat major scale in two octaves. Um, ninth graders don't get excited that you can maybe hit the high B flat. What I would do instead is something called full range scales. So what you're going to do is you're going to start on your normal note, and you're going to go as high as you comfortably can. So let, let's just say that I couldn't play this in two octaves on the Barry. Let's just say that I could only go to uh, a high C. Let's just say that I don't know the palm keys yet on my saxophone. The only thing that I know is up to a high C. So you can play your scale up to that high C. And then you can play it back down to your low F. But you might say, I know notes that are lower than that. So you can actually go past the F to your lowest note. Let's say that the lowest note you know is a low C. And then back up to F to finish. So if I put that whole thing together, this is called a full range scale. Now the range is going to be dependent upon the notes that you know on your instrument. So if you're... Um, if you're a ninth grade trumpet player and you're comfortable playing up to a high F or a high G, you can do that. If you are a seventh grade trumpet player, you can stick with just doing your B flat major scale and maybe just going up to a high C or a high D, whatever your, your highest comfortable note is. Um, you can play up to that note. You go back down to the root, you go down to your lowest note and you come back up. Now, one important thing to know rhythmically with this is you don't want to do the BCMEA or honors band style rhythm of ta ti 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 ta ti 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 ta. You want each note to have the same value. So I'm just going to do it in straight quarter notes to start. <laughs> So there you have 
have it. That was my full range concert A flat major scale. Um, now, the next thing, once you've got that, you might think to yourself, that's, that's it. I know my A flat major scale. I'm good. I can move on. And you probably could. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how would a professional approach this? How would a, um, a high school senior that's getting ready for college look at a scale like this? Because a lot of times in middle school, we just go, oh, I've done my scales and I move on. But that's not how you know, you would do it if you were in high school or in college. So what they would do is they'd say, let me work on this. Let me get to know every kind of, you know, different way I can mess with this scale. So once the first thing you can do is you can start to work on speeding it up consistently. So the first thing I would recommend you do is you get out your trusty metronome app. Now I use pro metronome and I'll put a link to that. This is like $3.99, I think in the app store, but there's plenty of free apps out there. Um, the first thing, the thing I like about this is there's a tap function. So I can sit there and go one, two, three, four, one. That's about 97, we'll say, and I can hit play. And now I can practice with a metronome. So I'm going to do quarter notes again. students, especially when we get into jazz band season and um, soloing, is when they solo, and let's say they're in an A flat major for their solo, they only work in one octave. And they just get stuck there between F and F and F and F, and then, or, or B flat and B flat for trumpets, E flat, E flat for French horns. Um, this full range thing will really give you... Um, more control over your scales and more more notes to play with when it comes to soloing time when it comes to creating or even if we're just in band class and that that song that we're in in the key of a flat goes above the the top octave note goes starts going into that second octave so have fun with this um, use this is a great warm-up this could be your whole practice session or this could even just be the warm-up that you use for each practice session 
Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. It kind of gives you something to work on, something to start with. Um, for our next video, when we come back, we're going to start having some fun with this scale um, and doing a lot more kind of creative uh, playing with it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this first lesson, this first tutorial. Um, feel free to come back at any point in time and rewatch this, um, add it into your practice, and hopefully you guys are having an awesome time enjoying um, some alternative learning methods at home. Hope everything's good, and I'll talk to you guys soon.